So we've got the Riverside location again, another outdoor session. So settling in wherever you are, standing upright, standing still, calming down, getting quiet. Stepping out, sinking down, checking your feet and some neck loosening. I'm doing the neck work really slowly. Very careful with the circles. And then here I'm doing lots of um, just sort of turning side to side, sort of looking over my shoulder each side rather than always circling. So for me it's a case of what feels good. Sometimes circling, particularly taking my head back, like when you sort of look up to the ceiling and beyond, um, my neck doesn't always like that. It can trigger headaches and migraines. So often I won't do that and I will do like this sort of half circles or just turning left to right. So it's just what's comfortable. If your neck is fine to do the regular circles, then um, go ahead and do that. Circle in one direction and then circle in the other. But if like me, that's a bit challenging on your neck, then do adapt. And some shoulder circles. So shoulders circling backwards. So forwards, up, back and down. Smoothing that out into a kind of a circle. If your shoulders are anything like mine, probably plenty of clunks and clicks going on, especially at the start. And circling the other way, circling forwards. Bringing some movement in. And then into some hip circling. So it can be nice, I think the more we do this, the more we get used to it, it can be nice to really um, pay attention from the inside to what you feel and the stickier parts of the move, the parts of your back or your hips that feel they want a bit of extra time or a little bit of extra kind of um, loosening. It's nice to pay attention to that and to let the warm-up exercise get really targeted. Let it be meaningful for your body, however it's feeling today. Sometimes playing with the pace a little bit faster, a little bit slower can be nice. And yeah, sometimes just sort of hands on the lower back, you can just kind of push into that, particularly that kind of forward part where the back is stretching. It can be nice just to help that along a bit. And we'll circle the other way. Staying down in the legs, keeping upright in the body. Or as upright as you can. Upright is the goal, and for me it's kind of kinda of comes and goes a bit.
just taking the time to let the the hips and the back feel freer and freer nice and loose and then stepping onto tiptoe in order to circle the hip circling the knee moving the ankle and again standing upright and eyes forward so gazing gently forwards there's no need to look down although it can be quite tempting to do so we want to be practicing all the time keeping upright looking straight ahead or sort of gently ahead you can kind of invoke your peripheral vision a bit as well especially when you're outside it's quite nice to sort of look out head forward but kind of letting your vision just kind of go wide and broad soft circling the other way be quite relaxing to invoke that peripheral vision from time to time so circling the hip so the standing leg is getting quite a workout as you stay still on it while the other one moves and then swapping over so sinking into this other leg now to stand and circling the hip the knee the ankle on the tiptoe hmm. I'm having a bit of trouble there today I'm not sure if it's the floor being uneven or um, just me and my body that day but I'm doing this voiceover a few days later so I can't really remember quite what was going on out there but <laughs> It's quite funny watching it now. And circling the other way, sort of circling the knee inwards. Looks like I'm finding that quite tricky today. Maybe you're finding it a whole lot easier than I am. We can only ever do our best, isn't it? Okay, good. Bit of a shake out. Um, kicking away the excess twigs if you need to. And then settling into a nice horse stance. So kind of two shoulder widths or a little bit more perhaps. Um, nice tip to get your hands behind your back and pull the fingers down towards the ground. It kind of helps us be upright and sinking into the legs. And then moving from the waist, from the dantien, and letting the arms swing hips forward knees forward feet forward eyes forward and then you can start to move the head side to side ultimately um, even looking over the shoulder looking behind you helps to feel the movement um, rippling up through the spine I think when you turn a bit more nice twist to the spine with a Dantian awareness and trying to have the movement coming from the Dantian so nice to be outside doing the practice I do find it much easier when I'm training on my own um, to do it outside because I've just got so much less distractions than I can find it 
when I'm doing it at home. Although I do uh, kind of get a little bit self-conscious at times. Mostly it's just sheep that come and watch, but uh, I'm getting used to it. Okay, so finishing up and um, that's it for the warm up. Have a shake out. I'm going to go, um, I'm going to stop this video now, do another one for the standing. Um, so you might want to find that movie and play that while you're in the zone.